When we come back, Phil and Les answer your business questions, including one about getting your clients to pay on time. And hopefully they'll have some fatherly advice for today's elevator pitcher and his line of I'm the Daddy products, including delivery room scrubs for the expecting papa. We have a Father's Day present for you today. Our elevator pitcher has some products that will make any guy glad he's a dad. Hi, I'm Robert. You can call me Robert Daddy Phil. Nickel today. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm expecting my third baby. Um, you like the scrubs? I do. They're called Daddy Scrubs. It's medical scrubs for the daddy. And that's the hospital staff know I'm the daddy, not the doctor. It's actually a company I started in 2009. I wanted something to wear in the hospital other than my street clothes. So I got some really cool, comfortable medical scrubs. I put Daddy on the front. I put I'm the daddy on the back. The next thing you know, I'm selling them all over the country along with hats and t-shirts and mugs and books and backpacks and hoodies. I spent a lot of money investing in branding daddy scrubs in major pregnancy magazines and national trade shows. This year we're hoping to do about $750,000 in sales with an average five times markup. But with over 4 million babies born a year, 10% market share, we're making a $30 million company. So I'm looking for some high level investors to help take us to that next step, which I believe is the daddy scrubs wholesale division. Well, I got to go. Wish me luck. <laughs> don't, don't leave. <laughs> don't leave. You were the keep him here. You were like the most personable person we've had giving an elevator pitch. Yeah. You didn't seem nervous at all. You felt like you were just talking. Great Thank job. You. That Thank a, you that very was much. A that, that, that was an absolute great pitch. job. Okay. Yeah. Good. Did he get? We know the personality was fantastic. Did he get all the right information in there, or did it matter because his personality was? Man, so he's great. banging away on some margins on here. I'm hearing a five to one margin going on That's in there. I'm hearing margin. that he's got already some sales rolling and perhaps going to build up to a reasonable number of sales in year one. 30 million sounds like a good number for 10% of the market. You're, you're hitting on good points. And I really like the thing. You're coming in with this, and I, I think it should say, who's your daddy? And then <laughs> you say, I'm your daddy. That would work. But I really like the general idea. And it sounds like it's starting to hit. Yeah? Thank you. What about you, Les? I love it. Uh, it's like um, anybody with a real kid, though. You've got to be very aware of what the potential flaws are, and those are sometimes hard to hear. What I'd want to know more about, I mean, I love the fact that you know what the market is. It's $4 million, So I'd love to hear what happens at 2% of the market, 3% of the market. When I hear people talk about 10% of the market, I think maybe you're seeing your baby as being more than she currently is, mm -hmm. maybe we'll get you there, but that's a lot of market share to get to. So I'd want to hear about you know, what happens at 2 to 3% of the market. And if I can work there, I love the idea. Which is, I think which it's is key, right. to, key to saying, okay, where's the break-even point? Because if it's our money, right. we want to know where it stops being our money. Right. It starts being the uh, consumer money. Well, thank you, guys. I mean, I think what everyone can learn from this, frankly, is your ease in giving that pitch. That was really fantastic and, and fun to watch. So good luck with everything. Thank right. you so much for coming on the program. Thank you guys for your advice that here. Oh, that was great.